Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable your time limit feature on your iPad. It's basically a feature that allows you to control and manage your time on your iPad. If you want to spend less time or if you want to spend more time on an app and you want to organize your whole procedure, then it's a great feature to use. So, first thing you want to do is you want to click on settings. Now, on settings, as you can see on settings as you can see we have the option for screen time now we have a couple of options here very important that we explain and go through all of them first one is downtime downtime is set a schedule for a time away from screen during downtime only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available so basically what this feature does is let's say you're getting a lot of messages in your downtime from Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or anything of the sort that really disturbs your constant rest and you're worried that they might be something important so what you can do is you can prioritize the apps that you want to have access to you when you're in downtime and then shut everything else down this is the type of feature that you want so as you can see, I can set up the time for my downtime. So I can change this up. See, I can change it up for any time I want from two. Once you activate this, all of your apps will shut down. So I'm actually set for this now. So if I go back to home, as you can see, all of my apps are locked down. So, let's turn this off. Now, as you can see, all my apps are opening up again. Now, let's go to the second option, which is App Limits. In App Limits, instead of giving your phone a limit based on time, you give it a limit based on the app. First, you identify what's the time limit so you're free to choose and then you have these this list of apps that I've added as a test you can add more apps to right? any app that you want if they don't show up you can simply search for them. If they don't show up, you can simply search for them. Twitter, all of the apps that I have are included here. After you specify a certain amount of time, and then you've passed that time, these apps will lock and they will close down. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to decrease it to one minute. Then I'm going to go on Notion. So if I go on Notion, as you can see, my time is already limited. Once an app is blocked or it's time limited, you can click back on it and then you can say ignore the limit. Remind me in 15 days, ignore the limit for today or one more minute. As you can see, the app continues. If I wait another minute. Now, let's go back to the menu. You have a third option here named communication line. So, limit check this out, it says limit apps to phone, FaceTime, message, and iCloud accounts. Communication to known emergency numbers identified by a career is always allowed. So, this is basically downtime for your contacts. You can choose to silence them if you don't want, want to hear from them. Always allowed is the opposite of all we've discussed. So, you give constant ac access to people who you want to have announced and, and, and allowed. And finally, 
content and privacy restrictions these are the services that you can if you want to you can block all of these are things that you can block how do you block them and now you're free to change them in however way you wish so that is how you you can also set a passcode in order to bypass the time limit so that is how you set your time limit on iPad thanks for watching the video if you liked the video please make sure to click thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out similar videos like this if you're interested and if you have any questions Ask him in the comments section. I will see you later. Bye-bye.